at 6.03, we begin with new developments on last night's breaking news out of Smithfield. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you Pleasant View Avenue in the Greenville section of town. That's where members of a family, including three children, were rushed to the hospital following a carbon monoxide scare. Eyewitness reporter Julianne Pixoto has new information this half hour from fire officials. That's right. I actually just got off the phone with the fire captain a few minutes ago. He tells me all five victims are in critical condition in the hospital this morning. He also tells me he isn't sure yet if there were any functional CO detectors inside this home. Now, emergency crews were called to this house around 8.30 last night. He had been working, the father here had been working in the garage and came back inside to find his three children and their mother unconscious. Rescue crews say when they arrived at the home, the concentration of carbon monoxide inside was at 700 parts per million, which is over 650 parts more than what is considered dangerously high levels. The three children, ages 7, 9, and 11, were all taken to Hasbro Children's Hospital. At that time, two were unconscious. Their mother, who was also unconscious, was taken to Fatima Hospital and we're told the family rents this single family home from the Greenville Public Library. From what we understand, it was also some soot in the house, which is indicative of, of a heating system failure of some sort. It house. appears to be an oil-fired heating system. As of this point right now, everybody is alive, so um, we're anything? hopeful that there's no long-term neurological problems. And this latest incident comes just two months after a nine-year-old Akushnet boy and his father died of CO poisoning back in December. Coming up in about 30 minutes, hear what experts say you can do to avoid a similar tragic situation. Live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.